Pression! Artists! Pression! Standard highs! Can't you want to want to? Can't you want to want to? Can't you want to want to? From my left to a pression! I got what I don't do your money. If one talk, mock attack well, if they do commentate on what they speak in town, what you want to, what you want to, what you want to, what you Telling me what you want to what you want what you want to, telling me Santa why we avoid the Allah. Please, don't confusion me. Field Marshal Officer Jato. Sir, yes, sir. We just received a distress call that there's a situation in the next local government. You are going to lead our crack team that will go and put it under control. Sir, yes, sir. Now, let me inform you. There are around 400 guys and they are armed to the teeth with AK 47, mortar bombs, and shakabula. Field Marshal Officer. Don't, don't call me Field Marshal again. My name is Jato, AKA Abu Mayang. Okay, that Allah will ask for you. See my boot. He not get a rope. See my belt. Na charger. He want my go fight. My gun. Now only two bullets are there for each other. After I don't kill one, I don't kill two. There are many people. What is going to happen, Oga? Kuma, these people, they don't offend me. Why I won't go kill them? Allah, please, Oga. I have sacked myself. Another do again. It doesn't matter. You were trained to kill. He, Oga, I not kill. In fact, the only shooting I know is one as for life. The one as for come, I know they even shoot again. Leave me. But this is service. The only service I know is NYAC. Oga, make you I go fight them. In fact, it's a bullet I go show to you. Obey the last command. Ubanka! Uro, Ubanka, last command. That is a fantastic <laughs> video showing. It's very funny, but at the end of the day, it's depicting some real life situations and real life scenarios. It's impressive how he tells his story through comedy, but at the end of the day, passes very key messages. Some of you know him as Officer Jato, others know him as Alaji Musa, some people know him as End Time Landlord, some others know him as Sister Nkechi. Here on Wazobia, we know him as Nedu. Today, we have with us Nedu of Wazobia as our very special celebrity guest. A very good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Nedu Kwam, how do you do it? <laughs> Just tell us, how do you do it? I, I really don't know. Well, the very simple um, answer I give to a lot of people that ask me, how do you do it? I'm like, not good. It's not me. And moreover, a lot of people just see me and um, it's not just me. I mean, it's me and some other person called Husband Batira. Mm -hmm. He's very crazy. So it's both of us most times that put these things together. So it's not like it's just me. Yes, the acting is there. The, accent switching and stuff, but last, last, not good. How does it feel when you meet people and the first thing they're thinking is, oh, he can't speak English? Do you get that yeah, stereotype I get that often? All the time. I get that, like, all the time. Like, you see, the thing is, a lot of people, when they call me on the phone, oh, someone gave me a number to talk to you. Is this Nidu speaking? Okay. Um, yeah, you go go ahead. Is this Nidu? Yes, now Nidu, they talk like I speak English. No, the Nidu I know does not sound like this. I'm like, it's me. Like, really? So you sound like the people who say at the front. They would think maybe they do for now. I learned how to speak pidgin strong. Because I don't go like give you, eh? I didn't go to school in America. I didn't go to school in UK. So a lot of people were like, so why you can't get the accent and stuff? And I try to explain to all of people, like, this is why, this is why, this is why. It was something that over time, I mean, would build to my mom over time. I mean, growing up, my mom would tell you, before you ask her anything, you have to write it in oral English, like a letter in oral English. So most times, you want to ask my mom for um, maybe a textbook or something, you have to write a letter to my mom. My papa owner say you go ask her for Igbo. So it's, you know, you, you have the English part of it, you have the Igbo part of it and everything. And then um, growing up in Kaduna, you learn how, sir. And I grew up in Face Me, I slap you. We have Mama and Kitchi, Mama John. So I learned Yoruba and I learned Igala, how to speak Igala in that language. Oh, land. wow, that you speak Igala as yeah, well. Yeah, Kogi State in that, in that compound as well. So um, I know they blame people when, when they see me and I maybe they try to converse with me in English and I speak English and go like, oh, why are you there from? I don't from you, understand what I'm saying? I'm like, I know we just blame them. I'm like, okay, do you know the, the, the truth is I, I don't really blame you guys. It's what I put out that you guys, you, 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 you tend to attach me, you know, with those things that you see. So I don't really blame people for saying or, mm. you know, things like that. But your that. talent is very multifaceted at the same time. What would you say has been the highest point for you so far in your career? Um, uh, highest point as in, like, the, I don't understand the English. Greatest achievements. I'm a quantum, I don't that way. <laughs> I have to put you on the hot seat now. I know you've had many, but what would you say to well, you personally? Read, yeah. is the the major one. one was Sister Nkechi. I think that was it. Like, a lot of people knew me on radio, see me on TV, on different ads and stuff. But when Stankichi, you know, just blew up, ah, 
he's funny, he's this one. The friend Mr. Nkechi, you know, me and husband Matera now thought, oh, you don't do this deal one kind, let's, you know, move to something else. But I think the highest point to start with, I think for the work we would do on social media and stuff, I think it's just Nkechi. All the things as there. Before we continue the conversation, we're going to put you on the spot real quick. Okay. We want you to switch now. Now it's Nedu, but we want to see Sister Nkechi for a minute. Sister thank you. you know, doing Sister Nkechi is very simple. I mean, you're, you're there most of the time. You just put the hair and then you go, It's in Kachi hair, Ladies on Instagram to look, get in here. You know, you just like, you know, you just... And people don't understand the amount of work that you put into shooting exactly. a Sister Nkechi video. They don't. So they can don't. you please give us an insight into what it takes? Well, um... Sometimes I think of the story, sometimes husband Matera thinks of the story, and then we sit down and come up with a script. Most times he comes up with the script, and then um, we go in and shoot it. Sometimes we're shooting it, and then um, it doesn't go the way we expect it to go. We have to keep shooting over and over. Sometimes we shoot like 10 times. Sometimes I, 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 I go lose breath, you know, and I have to start looking for water to drink so that I can rest a bit and then shoot again. And then another <laughs> challenge again. I say, okay, what's going to be the thunder of today? Okay, this one could be this and this mm. one. But it, it takes, it's not just as easy as people think it is. But at the same time, it's easy. We have a lot of things to talk about. I mean, there's so much ease in the society that you just, okay, pick one and talk about. But you have to articulate it well. You have to, it has to, you know, it has elements. It's like it's again, introduction. Um, ladies on Instagram, especially those of you that this, blah, 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 are something that you eat now. They've done that, that with fire you and stuff. So it's a lot of work sometimes. Okay, let's talk about the initial plan for you. Before you, now you're not only a social media influencer, mm. you're a radio presenter, mm. you're a TV presenter as yeah. well, you're a host of events. Yeah. What was the initial plan for you? Lead us through your academic journey. What did you picture Nidu to be? Well, is he a far cry from what he is now? Well, yes, yes, actually. Um, I studied accounting in school. Um, I'm supposed to be an accountant. My mom wanted me to be an accountant. So I read accounting in Maduna University, came out, um, did my NYC. It started from NYC, actually, where I worked in the radio station, New World FM in Jagar State. And um, after that, I can't begin to look for work for bank. Like, I did a lot of bank tests, like, a lot. Now, bank, I won't work, because a lot of my friends, everyone, you know, they were all working, you know, different banks and stuff. Me, and only me one look on the get bank work. I was working one um, site like that, where there, there was this site. Assistant or something. And they pack stick, they do bookkeeping and all those things. And then uh, I worked there for like a year or two and I got tired and I really needed to do something professional, not just, you know, working at a construction site. So I started working with um, these um, stockbroking firm in Abuja. Uh, worked there for like a year or two. I got really tired. I get bored easily with things. And then um, I moved into an insurance, I moved to an, you know, one insurance company like that in Katuna, started working there. It wasn't up to a year, I got really bored with it as well. And then I'm like, do you know what I need is not in Katuna. I think I need to move to entertainment. And then I moved to, I, I, I didn't move at first, and then I entered Lagos um, 2009, December. Uh, there was one girl I was dating then, Lolati. She was the one uh, that I spoke to. She was like, ah, come on, go to this radio station, go interview the and uh, English speaking station. They know they speak pigeon. So I got that, I did your audition. I'm like, are you good? All right, we'll get back to you. Thank God, so they don't get back to me. Mm. And then I wait, 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 wait. They're not call me. I wait, wait, they're not call me. So in January 2010, I just packed everything and I left, came down to Lagos, stayed with my uncle for a while. Um, for the first three months, I wasn't doing anything. I was tracking the whole street of Lagos, looking for what to do, applying, putting my CVs everywhere. Nobody was calling me. It was crazy. And then there was one day, I got really tired. I got fed up with everything. And um, um, there was one phone. I was using there, one small phone. And I'm like, OK, you want an entertainment job. It's not coming through. You've applied here. It's not coming through. So what do you do? What is closest to entertainment? And I thought of, okay, all these agencies, all these media agencies, then they're close to entertainment. So maybe from there one day, I'm like, okay, I don't have for this. Make I really go into the entertainment. And I Googled all of them, the ones that are in Lagos. I sent my CV to all of them. What the one way ask me? I do? None of them actually asked me. So there was one that called me. 
in VI. Oh, are you trying to do Emmanuel? I said, yes, okay. Come to this time for um, interview. So I went there. The guy gave me a laptop. The guy, well, how do you speak well? I'm like, okay, yes, I think. How many languages do you speak? And when he saw my CV, I'm like, you're too qualified for this job. I'm like, so just give me. I just need the job. The guy now gave me his computer that I should do a PowerPoint presentation, give me time to do PowerPoint presentation. So I did. I gave it to him. I was like, wow, this is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to pay you 50,000 naira. Come and start April 1. So I started working there April 1. Um, I worked there for like two, three months. And the first salary where I get, I remember that time, it was I think by Blackberry. <laughs> Half of them did by Blackberry. <laughs> Little did I know that God was funny enough, directing me or using my stupidity to help me. So I bought the Blackberry and I did subscription of one of the networks that I'm an ambassador to right now. So, uh, ambassador to, I sort of know English well. Yes, you sort of eat well. <laughs> so, one Sunday, I just did house, I was following Wazuba FM on Facebook. I just did house and I saw you are posted on Facebook. Oh, if you know, so if you read news for Pigeon, blah, 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 drop your CV you know, and stuff. So I just dropped my, everybody that dropped CV in English, I dropped my CV in Pigeon. They called me, I did audition, audition today, interview tomorrow, I started working. So that was how it started. Wow, wow. So I resigned for where I was working. Now when I resigned, they were begging me, oh, come, 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 come back, we're going to double your salary, we'll triple, if they had tripled my salary, I would have been earning like close to 200K. But my first salary here was 80K. I would have been earning like, 200, close to 200K, I'm like, no, it's not about the money, blah, 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 blah. The rest is history. I look at you today. And now Nero is going to wrap up the show for us. We'll see you again on Monday. Over to you, Sister Nkechi. Let's see you. <laughs> oh, by the way, please, Nero's birthday is on Sunday, the 5th of August. So please go on his Instagram, flood him with so much love. Send him gifts. He likes gifts. So please send him as much and just show him so much love for putting a smile on your face all the time. Happy birthday in advance. Happy Nkechi. birthday in advance. All right, over to you, Sister Nkechi. Let's hear you. Hey, Jesus. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Anyone? It's Nkechi Hero. Ladies on Instagram to learn, get in here. Especially those of you that all your friends will tell you, leave this man now, Leila, leave this man. He's beating you, giving you blue and black eye every week. Leave him now. Are you working in an onions factory? Every time you are crying, you open your mouth and say, mm -hmm. you will not understand. We understand. It is the power of the Munchenga that is keeping you there. If you don't live there, the thunder that will fire you is coming from a joke with a steel, prepared with hot gunner pepper. Kechi, sign it out. Let, Let the, the hostel pay. pay. Oh, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys on Monday. <laughs> to enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.